Yeah, g'day folks, it's your roving reporter Bear here out on location at a place called Bannaby. Um, this is a 500,000 volt substation and it is big stuff. So, let me show you a little bit of it, see if you reckon. Right, well, so to, we have two lines coming in, 500,000 each, quad conductor. The amount of power they, they probably handle 4,000 amps lot of power comes in drops down first things are surge diverters they if there's a lightning strike on the line they absorb that lightning and prevent damage further on that's a light yep next thing's a voltage transformer which converts the 500,000 volts down to a usable quantity of 110 volts AC so we can use it inside uh, that's a wave trap, it's like a filter, it allows 50 Hz to pass but blocks other frequencies. Then we go to a really big isolator. Yeah, it comes in onto the bus bar. The substation is a mesh arrangement. So it needs only four circuit breakers. With that you can isolate either line or either of the two transformers in the substation. The breakers, uh, what are they? can't remember the name of them. But they have four braking chambers up the top each. They're probably good for 4,000 amps, it's easy. And grading capacitors across the brakes so they have the same voltage on each side. Then we come to the current transformers. Like much like the VT, except these convert the current down to a usable quantity. They're probably about, oh, watch, oh these are 3000 to 1 ratio. So if there's 3000 amps up the top, we'll get 1 amp down the bottom, which we can send into the relays. Uh, big earth switch, isolators open because we've got one of the trannies out today. And yeah, so we're going to have a look at the trannies. They're pretty big. Yeah, just before the transformers we have uh, reactor banks they're basically like a dummy load what they do is they keep the volts down because it's a natural effect of power lines especially long ones they have a natural capacitance and if you generate into a capacitor the volts go up so we have reactors which keep the volts back down and that's 33,000 volts, those ones. The only little ones. Uh, they're still a good rating though. Like 1500 megabars. This is just the auxiliary transformer. Comes in 33,000, goes out 415. So we can use it inside. Those are a bit, un oh, a bit unusual because they're air cooled. There's no oil in them at all, so which I've never seen before. So. Yeah, you can't see much, it's all inside. Now we get to the business end of stuff. This is a single phase 500 to 330kV transformer. And there are three of them. One, two, and the other one's up beyond the last one. They have these big walls in between them, so if that fails and explodes, it doesn't take out old mate next door. Uh, they use single phase units because a tranny this size is a three phase unit that would probably weigh 500 tonnes. You just never move, they're too big. So I split them into three single phase units, which also has the bandage. Like I said, if one blows up, you just replace that single phase and you've still got, you don't have to replace the whole unit once. They're pretty big, big, uh, there's the bushings, 500 kV bushings, bloody enormous. Again, there's another surge diverter, protect, protects the trannies against lightning and stuff. Um, yeah, it goes from 500,000 to 330,000 on the low voltage side. I never thought I'd actually describe 330,000 volts as low voltage, but that's what it is. Uh, you've got your conservator, cooling fins, pumps, fans, all the, all the gear. Yeah, these babies are big. The whole three, they're rated at 1500 
uh, NVI, which is the biggest I've ever seen. Big, probably his biggest ones were 400, so these are, or 375, so these are four times the size. And they are enormous. The amount of power those things can handle is phenomenal. Uh, this one transformer could, supply, could easily supply a tenth of the state. So, and there's two trannies in this one sub. Yeah, that's how big they are. So, yeah, that's, that's a look at the big stuff. We, are, we don't have any bigger. 500,000, that's, that's it. So, right, we'll catch you later. Have fun.